We go through a lot of soda here. It was actually an idea that came uh, through Stu Rose. He basically just pulled me into his office and he said, I, I want to start working on the uh, company morale project. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I always enjoyed the idea of just kind of these mischievous practical jokes that at one hand could be funny and the other hand could like help with team morale. You know, we have this, this vending machine and everything and he explained that he wanted to stargate eyes the labels of the drinks in this vending machine. I don't know where the idea came from, it's just one of those things sitting in the office and working on stargate and I thought, hey, wow, why don't we take the cans that are in the front of the machine and make them stargate cans but not tell anybody where they came from. He had some ideas and I had some ideas and between the two of us, you know, we got a list of the drinks in the machine and just started coming up with Stargate uh, themed ideas that would fit in with those things, you know, like the Mountain Dew, the obvious one with Cheyenne Mountain Dew, and um, just kind of everything went from there. She pretty much took the idea and ran with it and pushed it even farther than I ever would have dreamed possible. In the first series, there were 10 of them, uh, which kind of was overwhelming at first um, to do 10 all at once. And uh, Stu, when he approached me with the idea to stargateize the cans, he wanted it to be just between us. He didn't want anyone else in the company to know about it. And so I either had to work on them at home, or um, if I did work on them at work, I had to make sure that uh, no one saw what I was working on. That if somebody came around to my desk, that I switched over to something else and um, just basically tried to keep it a secret. And uh, we, we did pretty well. There were two or three people that found out about it before the project got to completion. but. Uh, but pretty much we, we kept the secret really, really well, and it took about three months working that way to get the 10 labels done. When I was working on the first set of 10, I got into this mindset where I walked down the, the, the grocery store aisle and, and the drink aisle, and I'd be like, oh, there's brisk iced tea, we could do Braytac iced tea, or there's you know Aquafina water, we could do Atlantafina water, and I just started to look at every label and how it could be Stargate eyes. I've always wanted to do Gatorade, that seemed like an obvious one with the Stargate. Our facilities manager, Janet Ng, we had to get her involved, uh, because she's the one that actually stocks the machine in the morning. She came up to me and she asked me for one can of each soda in the soda machine. So of course I looked at her, what are you doing? And she says, well, it's kind of a secret and a surprise. And I said, okay, but then she elaborated on it and said, but I need you to sneak the cans to me. I don't want anybody to see it. <laughs> I said, okay. And at that point, she told me what she was planning. She was going to make some special labels, Stargate labels for the cans. She was for it from the very beginning, extremely excited about it. So it you know, became kind of an exciting little side venture. The morning of, um, I brought in all 10 cans and uh, brought them to Janet. I went in and slipped the cans into the machine so that we could get the reactions. And so some people noticed right off. I mean, there was probably a good 20, 30, maybe more people around the machine um, that were there with their camera phones, taking pictures and talking about it and, and everything. And it probably took about three days for them to figure out that it had been myself and Stu that were behind it. And as they did, it was be like three days later. Wow, did you know that can in there? Yeah, it's been there three. But for the most part, everybody noticed it right off, and it became really um, a great morale boost. So that was kind of fun for those three days to walk around knowing that it had been me and seeing everybody's reactions and, and having them not know it. It's probably my claim to fame at the company at this point. So <laughs> They were excellent, very inventive. But it was really nice that she was able to do something with something as simplistic as a soda can to help boost it towards the Stargate. We actually have four new drinks in the vending machine that do not have labels on them right now. We actually have traded out some of the cans over these last few months to things that are more preferable to the employees. So that's what we're doing right now, is kind of uh, refacing the machine. I um, just use a regular, uh, just a regular inkjet printer on, on glossy photo paper, and I use the glossy uh, to try to get the reflection that comes off of the can. Spray these with the clear shellac stuff first. I'm gonna do that outside. I also use a, a spray, a high gloss uh, finishing spray um, that you can pick up at any craft store basically. And um, that was not only to give an even higher gloss and higher reflectivity, but also to keep the printer's ink from coming off on people's fingers. 
especially mine while I was trying to put the legs on. <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to being able to slip those cans into the machines when no one's around and see what type, if, you know, if they notice them amongst the ones that are already done. And there's our Dr. Pegasus, established 2004. A little Atlantis crest, better star dates, better flavors. Something that's very popular, Mountain Dew Code Red is now Cheyenne Mountain Dew. Code 9. And the all popular Diet Mountain Dew. The one my favorite, and it's very healthy too, is our V8. Which our V8 is now 100% out of your galaxy. There's only the cameraman and I and Elena who know what these look like, and now you. The P3X797 yeah. is the all-time favorite of the art department. It's all about the Dr. Diet, the Diet Dr. Carter. I've always liked the Diet Cree. It kind of gives me a um, Cree. inkling of what Cree means. Oh, yeah. It's all about Dr. Carter. I imagine I will do more, and if uh, if other drinks get pulled from the machine and, and uh, new ones get put in that don't have labels, I imagine I will. Um, it all just depends on timing, especially as we get closer to ship.